Hello, and what welcome is to a show and tell. We are doing this show and tell. <laughs> it's on Wednesday, <laughs> seven thirty. It's me and Never TV. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're doing our show and tell. Everybody's showing off their projects, their crafts, their maker spaces, their tools, their synthesizers, their three D printed Nefertiti yeah. bus, whatever it is. If it's awesome, we want to see it. We want you to show it off. We're going to start with Noah. Uh, no, so, Tony, 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 Tony and Palma, then Noah and Pedro. And, Noah yeah. and, Pedro, and right. then we'll go down the list. So please mute your mics. Hold on. We're getting out of here at 7.50, 7.55. Yeah. So take three minutes to show off your projects. When we call on you, go for it, Tony. What you got? Hey, yeah. So uh, my project, it was actually something I did Monday. So I did a little live stream for the first or the fourth anniversary of the Raspberry Pi. Uh, so definitely, if folks are interested, check it out. It, I did it on OpenGL, and I played with the new experimental OpenGL driver in the Raspbian operating system. I was just with the Pi 2, so maybe later we'll get a Pi 3 stream. Uh, but I just something on an itch I wanted to scratch for a while to do, go back and do some graphics stuff. Uh, so I made a cake, a computer graphics cake, and made it spin around. Uh, just showed some kind of old, what unfortunately is now outdated OpenGL, but it's still very valid and an easy kind of way to get started with Python for it. Um, so yeah, so check that out. And I actually I just discovered I have some old code I wrote in college for uh, like a cloth simulation. Maybe That's in a lovely. later stream in the future, I might try and resurrect that and you know code review myself from like 15 years ago and see what it's like. So I, t I took but, a graphics class too in, at, yeah, in school, but yeah, like bong shading it was so long ago. Like oh yeah, offers or something. I don't even remember that stuff. Yeah, it gets pretty crazy. I actually I also found I did an old ray tracer back in college too. So maybe. Dig that code out and see, right. like you get, you know, spheres of light and stuff and reflections. Bouncing, bouncing balls. Okay, yeah. I'll I'll see if you can dig up my graphics code. We can code compare. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Compare. Okay. Awesome. Right. Thanks for the update. All right. Next up. Yeah, Pedro. Pedro. Hey guys. So last Friday we released a video. The whole internet was exploding with all the talk about this stolen Nefertiti hack. So we went out. Yeah, three D printed one using the. Um, the type A machine, so we printed it ginormous, which is like 30 centimeters, and we hollowed it out, did a little bit of cleanup work on it, and I turned mine into a planter, so a little, one of those uh, carnivorous um, uh, nep the Nepenthes plants on there, so that would be cool to just show that off. And uh, we used the, that new hemp PLA that came out, so we're like, oh, legal 3D scan, let's use you know so an interesting type of filament on that as well, so... Uh, as you can see there, the um, the scan came out pretty good. They got a lot of detail on there. Not all of it, not all of it was resolved in the 3D print, but you can definitely see all of like the cracks and all that yeah. that came. And um, again, there's some more little controversy on, you know, did they really scan it with the Connect? Because as anybody who's tried to scan something with a, you know, Microsoft Connect, it's not that well. But um, you know, yeah. a lot of talk was that hey, they really break into the servers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah. It, and a lot of people were saying, yeah, it was the Germans illegally stole it from um, Egypt, and you know it's pretty cool to be able to say, oh yeah, they kind of stole it back. So pretty cool. If you guys want to yeah. check out the video on that, and on 3D Thursday, we'll talk about some of the techniques that we use for doing like a support material and doing all the hollow out work. So check okay, that out. and this is up on Thingiverse, and also we'll be playing the video tonight on Ask an Engineer. Well, it's so. just cool to have like you know this is famous art that everyone has heard of and seen in school, but like. The kids can actually see it, and like you know, it's amazing, like how um, uh, proportional the the sculpture is. Like, you don't realize that till you see it, how like elegant, and beautiful it is. So that's kind of neat. Yeah, I guess. yeah that's, that's the biggest point. How you know, a lot of museums are doing scanathons, and you know, it's kind of backwards thinking to you know not allow people to actually take a look at look at this for educational uh, purposes. So. Yeah, it's cool that they were able to get this out into the wild and have everybody print this out. Okay, awesome. Good thanks stuff. for the update, and thanks for the, the Nefertiti. Okay. Oh, no Next up, Justin. How's it going, Justin? Hey, Justin. How are you guys doing? Hello. Good. Okay, so I just wanted to show off this. Uh, well, first of all, thanks for learn.adafruit.com. All this stuff comes from that. Uh, it's, uh, it's a blue fruit keyboard for your bike. So you can see here it's got a Feather M0. Uh, there's a uh, Pro Adreno Pro Mini here on the back. There is a uh, Blue Fruit module. Yeah. And that's connected to uh, uh, ST7735. And when it goes together into this, you see your awesome wow. red button. Whoa. 
if I'm lucky, uh, the uh, splash screen will show. Oh, neat. Oh, yeah, Velo Key. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this one, when the Blue Fruit uh, connection goes, you, if you uh, have seen Zwift.com, it's an online cycling, indoor cycling thing. So you can ride with your buddies and, um, and chat with them, and you can change your camera view. So over here I'm changing camera views, or I guess so here's some camera views, and over here you can do some common actions like turn left, turn right, or, uh, you know, change, little change the room. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it makes the, it's, it's actually, it makes the side kind of fun, and you don't need to have a keyboard that you're sweating over. Mouse yeah. on your handlebar with the Garmin Connect here. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm really pleased with how it turned out, but uh, you guys made it real easy to do something like this with just by stacking all these pieces together. So. Well, it looks really good. Yeah, yeah that's a Thank good Thank you so much. It's like a Adafruit wish list come to life. Like, right. it's all the things, like, add to cart. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it was. Put it in. Yeah. They all work together. You know, yeah, follow the instructions. And if you have a link to this, send it to us. We'll post it up. This, yeah. is, this is cool. Okay, I haven't written much, but I will send you a link. So I've got <laughs> some basic instructions going. And so. email support at adafruit.com. We'll send you an as seen on the show and tell sticker. It'll make the weight of the bike increase, but I think it's worth it. It's vinyl, so it'll definitely, <laughs> yeah. you can sweat on it all you want. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you should be able to. Thanks, Justin. Okay, next, next up, up is Sean. Hey, Sean, how's it going? Show us your project. Uh, oh, Sean, you are muted. muted. So, can you unmute your mic, Sean? Hmm. Mm. How about we come back to you, Sean? Looks like you're having some audio, video things. We might. Oh, you want to do maker charades? You want to show what your project is? If you can hear us. Let's see. Okay, it is okay. an LED strip. It's an LED strip. That's for sure. Yeah. Okay. And so it's, it's 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 some like NeoPixel strips or something. Yeah. And it's the black type, and it's a 30 LED yeah. per meter. Okay. Neopixel strips. Neopixel strips. And that's the first syllable. First. <laughs> and all right, we're gonna come back. You want to try to do your microphone? It's good. We're that's here. Cool. We're here. We're here. We're here all the time. Ten minutes. We're actually under house arrest. Okay. Stop, we're not under house arrest. All right. Next up, I'm gonna go to Mike. Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, can you unmute your mic? Yes, I think I can. I all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Mike. Hello. Um, I have another Daft Punk helmet. Oh, good. Oh, sweet. <laughs> uh, this one, I, this is one of the Thingiverse files. Um, it's pretty much, I used almost like, it's constructed pretty much 100% out of st stuff that's 3D printed. Uh, well, even the hair, I used filament for the hair mm. on the back. Um, and how did you make the lens? What's that from? Oh, uh, we're getting there. Oh, sorry. I did, uh, I did a block of, of the, you know, uh, just a, a four piece, of four, pe four, four pieces of the block in PLA, and if, you know, after, and then I built the vacuum former too, which was uh, quite challenging to get the heating right, um, and then I wound up having to bondo it and sand the hell out of it to get it smooth, but it actually worked out pretty good uh, in the end. A couple of uh, failed uh, visor attempts. Oh yeah. <laughs> Actually, um, this one was died. I actually wound up dying one. This one was died, and it came out really good. But it just the fit wasn't the the the, the form kind of de deformed a little bit too much, yeah. and um, it uh, didn't really work so good anymore. Um, and of course, there's an uh, an Uno in it. Okay. I do have a Bluetooth module that we'll be putting in one of these days. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Of course. And uh, you know, of course. There's always you know NeoPixels involved in something. Good. <laughs> wow, these are great. Yeah. yeah, actually, these are um. I wound up using old pieces of of failed um poles to uh to to mount the LEDs on, and then just backed it with some uh, re with uh, some uh, reflective tape. And I had to hand code it because I'm not good at coding. I suck at it. So I had to hand code it all the little animations and. Oh, that's, that's really good. That's good yeah. though. I mean, like this is super pro. This is one of the nicest Daft Punk helmets I've ever seen. Yeah. I wore it to the uh, yeah. I wore it to the Renaissance Fair upstate, New York. <laughs> good. That's exactly. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna wear that thing. So. You get like the turkey leg and the blooming yeah. onion, and you wear that. You're yeah. Meeting it up. And then, how many hours did you spend on this? Do you think? Oh you wow. Um, I mean, the finish sanding and, and re-sanding is probably. Oof, I don't know. I, I couldn't even tell. Probably you know eight or twelve minimum, just in trying sanding and gluing and painting and repainting and um, 
Oh, you know, right. trying to in, in another, you know, probably two and a half, three into the buck to get that easily. Not a couple weekends actually on and off standing and stealing and so on. A couple weekends. I mean, like it used to be. Yeah. So it used to be a 300-hour project, so, like, you've you've done a good job of making it manageable. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Um, you know, the, 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 there's some kid in, I think, UK posted this uh, file on Thingiverse, and it was actually pretty good. It's a little small, a tiny bit small for my head, but um, it wasn't bad. Okay. okay. So you have to suffer for your death punk. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, keep I on could... rocking. Thank you for showing off your project. looks great. Okay, I'm going to try to go back to Sean and see how his microphone's doing. Don't Sean, forget to email, oh, don't oh, yeah. email Sport to get a sticker. Yeah, Mike, email support data for Doug Hover a sticker. Let's see. Sean, there's your microphone done. I think you're still on mute. It's okay. All right. We're going to keep moving. Andrew. How's it hey, going, Andrew? Andrew? Welcome back. What you got going on? Hi, guys. I've been playing with a little El Tripo um, laser engraver from China. Just bought it for fun to see what it was like. I had a few problems with it. No instructions, no software, but I got it going. Yeah. Engineering. Uh, there's some. That was pretty good. Oh wow. Uh, it's actually quite does it quite actually does it quite drop. Experimenting with uh, another sort of style. Wow. Uh, and on a bit of scrap. I don't know if it's going to show up or not. Yeah, no, that shows up great. And that's an uh, engraving with a, a Dremel. What what is actually doing the cutting? A laser. Oh, a laser. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Be careful. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, that's just black acrylic. And um, what I did, once it, it finished, I just got some paint on a bit of a rag and rubbed it in the grooves mm -hmm. and um, kept on going until the paint was off. Just experimenting. Now, if this will work, I've got some interesting little... Trying to share. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the Joey Scouts. She's just learning, uh, doing her um, environment badge with one of the Venture Scouts, the 16-year-old selfing, and they're using the microscope, and they've just discovered there's a bug on the leaf that they can't see with the naked eye. Uh, that's cool. Uh, uh, then on the same night, we made, instead of, we, used, we got your um, this little brush butt kits, yeah. but I discovered for this little one here, the toothbrush was too fine, so we used the milk bottle top instead and put some pipe cleaners on for legs and made a, a vibrating spider. <laughs> uh, and I'm missing one photo, it didn't show up. Uh, hang on, I'll go back, back, back. Ah, now there's my pride and joy. They're two of my former Cub Scouts at their celebration. They both got the highest award that Cub Scouts can get. Both. Look at all those badges, they're running out of sleeves. That's a lot of badges. Yeah. <laughs> Now you think he's got a few badges? You want to see what Charlotte's got on her? Hers goes all the way up. This is awesome. All right, this is great. I, I love seeing this. This is—it uh, makes me feel confident about the next generation. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there's hope. Uh, yeah, there's hope for the future. If you've got these kids who are so the excited. Those, the beauty about those two kids is they see something needs to be done. You don't have to tell them. They just go ahead and do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. All right. All right. You're having a party. I want this laser engraver. I want to get one of those. All right. Well, thank you so much, Andrew. If you if you want, when you email supportedatafruit.com, if you want a few extra stickers, just tell them it's okay, and uh, you can distribute them to the the kids who who are on the show and tell via photos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Getting getting permission for the forum was hard. You have to have written permission. That's right. Uh, I I know exactly how it goes. Okay. All right. I We're gonna keep so. moving. Next up, C. Scott. What you got? Welcome back. Testing, testing, we hear? Yeah, yeah you sound great. great. All right. Uh, well, uh, now that the sound works, I can show you I've been uh, taking... One of the great things about classical music is it's in the public domain, and a majority of it is available as MIDI files. So I just load a MIDI file. In, in this instance, <laughs> this is Scarlatti's um, Snot and G. It's about a two-minute piece. It's what they call a binary piece because it has two parts, and both are uh, just single notes. But... Yeah, his skill was in getting the, the music to sound much bigger than just two notes playing at the same time. So it's a short piece. I'll just play it in its entirety, and then I'll explain briefly afterward uh, what else is going on here. So here we go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
It's those two machines. Yeah, I'll just play half of it. Okay. So, um, but uh, yeah, this is two Chromenius units, and it sounds like I need to tune one when the kids must have been in here fooling around. <laughs> but uh, they're both, um, one is playing the upper register, one is playing the ro lower register. I've set the upper one to sound like a harpsichord-ish sound. And then the lower one, you have to change it to uh, a vocal mode, but... There we go. Gave it sort of a, what we call a pianoforte sound, so that uh, being the lower register, it would have a bit more of a, a tone color to it, since the upper register tends to bite through uh, all, all of, this, uh, of the arrangement. Anyway, uh, it's just a quick example of, you know, actually getting some music out of these things I've been spending a long time building. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there'll, there'll be more to come. I'm working on something else. It's not ready quite yet. Maybe next week or the week after. We'll see. But uh, uh, that's uh, what's up. Okay. okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. And I, 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 might, I might have you play a song. I just want to check with Sean one more time. Sean, if you can come back next week if your audio isn't working. Uh, one pro tip for everyone, uh, make sure you quit out of Chrome and everything before you go because sometimes multiple windows and different things. Uh, grab the audio. So next week when you come back, um, quit out of other applications. Sometimes the audio gets grabbed by another app. I've been bitten by it many a times. So okay, we'll see, Scott. Software. Can you can you play us out? Yeah. All right. Thank you, well, everyone. I'll continue where we left off. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll see everybody next week, 7:30 p.m. Eastern can time. One quick go back. One quick go back. Oh hey, what's uh, up? This is what it looked like. Before. I just want to show this is what it looked like before I tried to wire it up all separately and uh, I forgot to mention that Anul built me this uh, beautiful uh, board to, to bring everything together okay. so thanks to Anul that's a really great project. Kevin's helping me out in Boston so really yeah I forgot to mention those guys I just wanted to do a quick thank you yeah. thank you Tony thank you Sean Sean. see you next week thank you Mike thank you, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Susan. And thank you, Andrew. We're here every single week. Uh, like I said, it's at 30 p.m. Eastern Time. Show and share your projects. Um, tell your friends. Get them on, too. And then 8 p.m., which is in just a few minutes, we have Ask an Engineer. And we'll see all of you very soon.